Hello there, my beautiful Pisces, and welcome to your November mid-month love tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Pisces, we are looking into your love life for the second half of November. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and do not forget to check out your other chart placements on my channel. We are doing the you versus them spread, so please do keep in mind that for some of you, this reading may resonate backwards, reversed, or flip. You may end up on their side. They may end up on your side. Please assign the roles as you wish, and stick around towards the end of the reading. Pisces, I will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of this channel. I am a Pisces as well. And if you're returning, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. So let's get started and into it. Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. In terms of love, what's going on for love for Pisces for the second half of November. All right, Pisces, in your energy, we have Nurture. This is the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. We also have the Nine of Cups, Dreams Coming True. This is Water energy. And we have Believe and Succeed, the Six of Wands. This is Fire energy. In the mutual energy between you and whoever you are connecting to or will be connecting to comes in as the Seven of Pentacles, Awaiting Results, Earth Energy. We have Control, this is Strength, Leo Energy, and Giving and Receiving, the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Whoever you are connecting to comes in as the Two of Cups, Water Energy. The Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, Success and Growth. And the Nine of Wands, Rest and Reconsider. That is also Fire Energy. All right, Pisces. You come in as the Empress, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Wands. You look very focused on what you want. What's going to make Pisces happy? What's going to make you feel good? What's going to make you feel noticed, appreciated, heard, seen, and loved? You are very focused on receiving what you want out of love. No matter where you're getting it from, you know what you want. And you are not settling for less than what you feel like you deserve. You are sitting in a position of very good energy, vibrating very high, sitting on that throne of the Empress, knowing your worth, knowing your value, and you're not settling for less. So you look very much in that position of not wanting to let anybody knock you off your game of growth healing, abundance, and getting what you want from love. This person comes in as a two of cups, the eight of wands, and the nine of wands. So this person looks very interested in giving you what you want. Um, they look very connected to you. They feel very attracted towards your energy. They almost may be feeling more attracted to you now because you're sitting in this position energetically. It definitely does look like they really want to come together with you in a very happy level. But with the Nine of Wands here, they do feel like they don't have that validation from you that you also are wanting the same things as them. They definitely look interested in pursuing you, interested in connecting to you, reconnecting with you, whatever the case may be. But with the Nine of Wands here, they do feel like it's a struggle or they do feel like they either have put up a lot of fight to get you to be with them or whatever the case may be. They do feel a sense of tiredness or exhaustion around trying to get into your energy, trying to get this love from you. 
So I don't know if you're not giving it fully back to this person or you're sitting in your position of self so strongly that they feel almost like it's difficult to reach your energy now. But we'll clarify and see what that's about. In the mutual energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Strength, and the Six of Pentacles. So you both are kind of in contemplation mode. You both are controlled to an extent. But you both do want this reciprocation from one another. The balance for this connection can be achieved. The energy of being generous, giving, loving, validating is here. But it looks like you both are like waiting for it still. So let's clarify this spirit for Pisces. In terms of love for the second half of November for Pisces. Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. In love for the second half of November. Alright, in your energy you have the Empress with the Knight of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups with the Knight of Cups. The Six of Wands with the Two of Wands. In the Mutual Energy, we have the Five of Swords. On the Strength card, we have the Seven of Pentacles, now there twice. And on the Six of Pentacles, we have the Three of Swords. Okay, whoever you are connecting with here comes in at the Two of Cups to the Four of Wands. The Eight of, uh, the eight of Wands with the Three of Wands. And the Nine of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. Alright, let's go to you here, Pisces. Pisces, there is a very specific way that you want to be pursued in love and you are putting yourself in this position to attract people like this and you are, you, you just look like you know what you want, basically. And possibly you are striving for that so heavily that it's creating a sense of delay because you feel like You need to figure out if this person is a, is willing or can actually give you what you feel like you need to feel good, happy in a relationship. So I don't know if you didn't know what you wanted for so long and now you're finally realizing it, but you look very focused on this is the way that I want to be pursued. This is the way that I want to be treated. This is the way that I want to be talked to. This is the way that I want to be loved. And if you don't give that to me, then I know I'll find it because I'm me. And I, and I, and I will. So you look like you're there, basically. This person comes in uh, the Four of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. So this person, they want to be with you. They want to couple up with you, whether you're coupled up with this person or not. They want to be in a relationship with you, but they're like waiting. They're waiting for some sort of like an A-OK -okay from you Pisces. Like, yeah, we'll couple up. Yeah, we'll continue this relationship. Yeah, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll do that. And they don't feel that just yet. They look like they're waiting to feel that validation from you where... That is probably why they have the Nine of Wands, because they do look like, they don't really look that frustrated in waiting, but they are waiting. And in the mutual energy, it does show a little bit of frustration, but they're trying to keep it cool on their own. But in the energy of connected to you, it's causing a sense of frustration for both of you, though. So in the Mutual Energy, we had the Five of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles again, and the Three of Swords. So there is a very, very high possibility that you don't feel like this person is able to give you what you want. 
I mean, the Seven of Pentacles to the Five of Swords is showing that there kind of is just like argument after argument tension after tension hurt after hurt disrespect after disrespect and you have the two of wands on your side so if anybody's going to make a decision to stray away from this energy it looks like it's going to be you even though you both look hurt you both look defeated you both look like you're still waiting and contemplating. Let's clarify the two bottom rows here for Pisces Spirit. Clarify the row of the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. And then clarify the row of the Two of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Swords on your end. Six of Wands in the Mutual. Page of Swords in their energy. All right. So before I get the next out clarifications, I do want to point out you have four sixes here. Some of you could have been born on the sixth. Um, you will do anything to get what you want from love. And if that's moving on, if that's moving away, if that's letting go of someone, if that's choosing the new path ahead, if that's going here, if that's going on a dating app, if that's going out with friends, you're like, I'm going to do that because I want to find what I want out of love. I'm tired of dealing with people that giving me things that I don't want or making me feel ways that I don't want to feel. This person has the clarification of the Page of Swords. So they're watching you. They're very curious about the decision that you're going to make. They're very curious of if they're going to be chosen by you. I feel like you both like each other's attention. The attraction is there. The love possibly could be there. But there's been a sense of damage done. So let's clarify this bottom row here, even though I said I was going to do that and then I continuously shuffled. guess I wasn't supposed to pull those out. Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles on your end. Three of Swords in the Mutual with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles on their end with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so Pisces, you're, you want better for yourself. Page of Pentacles, and you know you'll find it. You're, you're very trusting in the universe here. And with trusting in the universe, it looks like letting go of somebody who you feel isn't giving you what you want. Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. Walking away from the hurt or walking away from the person who actually hurt you. Seven of Wands is here, so I do feel like this person is going to put up a fight or attempt to pull you back in somehow. Let's clarify this bottom row here for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Page of Pentacles here with Temperance. Yeah, you just want to find your peace, your happiness your energy of feeling healed and hopeful with love and it does look like this person you don't feel like you can get that from eight of cups here to the two of swords seven of wands judgment yeah they're gonna fight for a second chance here with you pisces no matter what you decide to do Clarify this bottom row once more for Pisces. We have Temperance with the Moon on your end. We have the Two of Swords with the Lovers. And we have Judgment with the Five of Pentacles. They do, they're going to feel very left out from your energy. They may make it seem like they don't care at first, but they will feel a very large sense of sadness from losing you. 
or the thought of losing you. Let's clarify this one more time. Your moon, six of pentacles, the lovers, queen of cups, and the five of pentacles with the queen of swords. Yeah. The love is here, but there looks like there's been a lot of unloving things here. You look like you're trusting in the universe that they'll bring you or give you something. If it's supposed to be this person, it's supposed to be this person. If it's not, then it's not. You're kind of just in a position of throwing your hands up in the air and kind of saying whatever's meant to be will meant to be with me and whatever's not is not. This person over here as well. Let me clarify one more time. Because they're going to make it seem like they don't, uh, they're, don't let this person like gaslight you because they come in a little bit weird. It's like, I don't care if you're leaving me. Never mind, I care. I don't care. Never mind, I care. It, it may be a little bit contradicting on their side where it's confusing. Don't let them manipulate your energy. Spirit, please clarify this for Pisces. Pisces, mutual and their energy. We have the Hanged Man, Pisces, that's you. We have the Nine of Swords, and we have the Devil. So, it's going to take you a moment, like like always, right? It's not going to be night and day. It's going to take you a moment to feel like yourself again, I guess you can say. But you're definitely in a I'm changing my mind sort of position and like really trusting in the universe. You're not forcing things anymore. You're not like forcing somebody to love you in a certain way. Like I said, you're sitting in the position of this is how I'm going to be loved and it's not here then I'll go find it elsewhere. You're not necessarily nagging this person about loving you like this anymore because maybe you've not even not that it's nagging but to a certain extent it comes through energetically like that because when you repeat something so much you sound like a broken record and you know i tell people this all the time how do you think it feels for the person who has to keep repeating themselves like you don't like to hear it can you imagine how it feels for the person who has to keep saying it so I'm going to let you know right now, we have the Queen of Swords here on their end with the Devil. They're going to act like they don't care, but they're really very tied and attached and obsessed with you. They may try to pull you back in. They may try to get you to do whatever and be whatever, say whatever. They're going to act like they're not willing to speak with you at first, and then they're going to, they are open. That's why this person kind of makes no sense and the devil coming in here just clarifies the fact that I felt like they are a little bit contradicting. Now it's coming in as possibly a little bit of manipulation. So don't let this person manipulate you, Pisces. I feel like you understand that already now, but obviously the love, the emotion, the connection, it's not easy to release, but you want better for yourself. And it's almost like you're, it's like these two fishes are fighting each other. One fish is like, but I love this person. And the other fish is like, but they suck. <laughs> and you're like going back and forth, back and forth. So um, I am actually going to clarify the bottom row one more time because I want to see what comes on your hanged man. And then we'll get your oracle and your feelings from each zodiac. Spirit, please clarify this bottom row for Pisces. Hanged Man, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Magician, Devil, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, Pisces, do not let this person manipulate you back in. Don't let them make you feel a type of way about yourself. They may try anything to get you to be with them, talk to them, whatever the case may be. But with the Hanged Man to the Seven of Swords... They may not be able to reach you. They may not be able to phase you any longer. Which is a very good sign. Let's see. Why is the hangman there with the seven of swords for Pisces? 
And for some of you who think that you won't be able to move on or you won't be able to change your perception or you won't be able to let this energy go, Seven of Swords, you are lying to yourself. You can do anything you put your mind to. Page of Wands. You will find that spark. You will find that sense of being within you. Like I said, this person, they may try to come in. They may try to message you, speak with you, whatever the case may be. But by your own detriment, it looks like you'll figure out that you're better off. So that's what I have here for you, Pisces. What a reading. This reminded me, who else had a crazy reading that went on forever? Um, mm -hmm, mm, Capricorn. And you did get the devil. Could be dealing with one or somebody who has it in their chart. Maybe you have it in your chart. Go check it out. But that's what I got going on, Pisces. Let's get your oracle. Should be interesting what your oracle has. And then we will look into each zodiac sign's feelings for you. Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of November for Pisces in their love lives. For my beautiful Pisces. All right, we have here pride and ego. We also have numbing. And we have refocus. Yep. You're done feeling like you can't be open, like you can't be yourself, like you have to turn off your feelings, your emotions, your wants, your needs. A lot of you Pisces definitely adapted to this person. And change yourself for their energy. And now you're almost realizing that you don't know who you are. Pride and ego numbing. You know you have to refocus. Some of you, this person is very prideful, very egotistic. Their emotions are very turned off, turned on, turned off, turned on. And you know you have to refocus away from that kind of energy. So let's clarify this again for Pisces spirit, for Pisces. We have pride and ego with regret. Mm -hmm. So like I said, once you refocus, once this person really feels like they're losing you and that's it, they are going to come in regretful. They are going to try. We have numbing with new direction, but you want to head somewhere else. You want to head in a direction where you feel happier. Refocus with nostalgia. So as hard as it's going to be, as difficult the memories are, you will find it to refocus away from thinking about the past, thinking about the memories. And I want, you know, there's this quote, and maybe this will help some of y'all. Nostalgia is, this is the quote, nostalgia is a dirty liar that makes it seem like things were better than they were. Note that. Because after any separation, you look back and you may have regrets. Oh, I should have did this differently. I should have done that differently. Don't forget why you had to go. Don't forget why you felt to it separate yourself. Don't forget those reasons. Spirit, clarify this one more time for Pisces. We have regret with offer. Like I said, they will try. New direction with fear. So you do fear moving away from this person's energy. That is obviously something that's going to happen no matter who you're dealing with. And nostalgia with material world. Don't let this person buy you back. They may try to do that. Let's clarify this spirit one more time for Pisces. We have offer with inner child. So when this person does try to fight for you back and or offer you things, your inner child is going to be definitely feeling like, oh great, here's the love, here's the attention, this is what I wanted. 
Don't forget that it does not last. Don't forget that this person is doing whatever that they do and that whatever the case may be. Fear with ascending. Beautiful. You will have it all figured out, Pisces. And material world with abandoned. Beautiful. I almost feel like you'll think back and look at all the things that you gave to this person and all of the things they didn't give you. Not in necessarily like buying you things. Yeah, some of you, yeah. Some of you, you... I almost get like this vision, which is so weird. I don't usually get visions, but we are Pisces reading and I am a Pisces, so maybe this is it. I almost like can envision someone like in a store, like thinking about the person, thinking about the lover and kind of just being like, oh, like I know they would love this, right? And it's just like something random, like some sort of something. I know they would love this. I'm going to buy this for them, whatever. And it's no holiday. It's no nothing. It's just cuz. I almost feel like some of you are going to look back at all those just cuz things that you did or just cuz things that you bought or gifted and realize kind of all of the stuff or all of the energy or all of the gifts, whether emotional, physical, attentive, affectionate, that you didn't get from this person. Let's clarify that one more time for Pisces. We have inner child there with barrier. Beautiful. So your inner child will fight this person off, which is interesting. We have ascending with understanding. Beautiful. Pisces, you will feel okay. And abandoned with muse. So it looks like you're going to find some sort of inspiration in this loss. Some sort of inspiration in this separation. Some sort of inspiration to find yourself again. Pretty interesting, Pisces. So let's see what's going on in each zodiac sign's feelings for you. Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And with Muse there, you may connect to somebody pretty quickly after this. And set yourself up for a new fate. So let's see, Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the second half of November in their love lives, what's going on for Pisces? I need each zodiac sign's feelings for them, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Here we go. Aries feelings for you, page of pentacles, an offer coming from an Aries to rebuild or start building with you. Could be an apology, but they definitely want to start something real and build with you, work on things. In the physical, see you, get together with you possibly, coming up with a plan to get together. Taurus feelings for you, three of swords. So Taurus feels pretty hurt by their by your energy or they are in the knowing that they hurt you, but there's definitely some sort of pain or sadness between you and Taurus. Next up is Gemini's feelings for you as the Knight of Cups. So Gemini's very interested in pursuing you. They feel emotionally connected to you and they do want to see where it goes. Cancer's feelings for you are the Six of Swords, so you may be healing with your Cancer after a lot of drama and conflict. Some of you, you live at a distance with your Cancer, could be traveling with them or towards them. For others of you, a Cancer may feel like they have to move on from you because you have left them behind, but that would be only if you ended up leaving a Cancer. Leo's feelings for you are the Tower, so Leo is feeling shocked by something between the two of you, something unexpected that Leo feels. We will clarify Leo. Virgo's feelings for you, five of swords. So Virgo feels defeated in this connection, either because there's a lot of arguments that never end or there could have been a separation and or could be like an energy of wrong person, wrong time, but there is an energy of defeat between you and Virgo. Libra's feelings for you are the ten of swords. So Libra feels like things are done and over. Or for some of you, Libra feels like the worst is done and over and there is a finally a brighter day between the two of you. Next up is Scorpio's feelings for you as the Hierophant. So Scorpio is very interested in being committed with you. If you are not committed to a Scorpio, you could work and or go to school with one. Um, but if you are in a relationship or coupled up with a Scorpio, definitely could be going down the road of commitment. Definitely a lot of learning from one another. So it could have been a pretty learning type of relationship between you and Scorpio. 
Sagittarius, feelings for you are the Four of Swords. Sagittarius feels a need to heal right now. You may have hurt them and they feel the need to heal from the connection. Some of you, your Sag may just be hurt and or injured, ill, whatever the case may be. They just may be very relaxed, very taking time to themselves, trying to figure out how to heal their energy. Doesn't have to be that it was occurred from you. For some of you, yes. And they feel the need to take a break and or take back their energy. Capricorn's feelings for you, Pisces, are the two of pentacles. So Capricorn is trying to make a decision about this connection on if they want to offer more and or drop this connection altogether. But they are very uncertain on what to do here. Some of you, a Capricorn just has a lot going on in their life and they're trying to make time for this relationship and work, family, friends. Aquarius feelings for you Pisces are the five of wands so Aquarius is feeling pretty conflicted by you they may just be jealous and or um insecure with you or you and Aquarius may have arguments and or fight a lot or recently and Pisces feelings for you Pisces are the queen of pentacles so Pisces pretty focused on their money and their abundance and growth if you're not committed to a Pisces they may just have laser focus for their money right now not really sure if they want to give their pentacle or effort away if you are in a relationship with a Pisces they do look pretty comfortable with your energy so let's clarify here let's clarify Leo Sag Capricorn and Aquarius because they kind of look all iffy Spirit, each zodiac signs feelings for Pisces, Wise Leo, the Tower, Sag, the Four of Swords, Capricorn, the Two of Pentacles, and Aquarius, the Five of Wands towards Pisces. All right. Leo with the Tower to the Lovers. All right, so Leo is pretty shocked. Either that they want to reconcile with you and still feel love for you or they're shocked that you want to reconcile with them and still feel love with them. If you started dating someone else and Leo is your ex and they are shocked that you are in a different relationship. Uh, Sagittarius, Ten of Wands. They just feel like they got a lot going on. Four of Swords, Ten of Wands. So they may feel like very burdened just by life or burdened by the relationship and they just feel like they need a moment to breathe basically um capricorn's feelings for you two of pentacles seven of cups Ooh, ouch you got Cap capricorn confused as ever they have no idea what they want to do with you two of pentacles seven of cups they have no idea they're really trying to make a choice but it's not easy for them definitely could be emotions involved there we'll see what's next here Aquarius feelings for you five of wands the hanged man so Aquarius is trying to get out of the fact that you cause them conflict or insecurity it may not necessarily be your like fault or problem this could just be all their internal energy let's see why is Capricorn the seven of cups now and Aquarius the hanged man towards Pisces Why is Capricorn the Seven of Cups and Aquarius the Hanged Man? Capricorn, King of Cups, that's why. They look like they're in love with you, but I don't know what's going on here. That's causing them a sense of extreme confusion and uncertainty, but they are not knowing what to do here. The Hanged Man with Aquarius and the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so Aquarius wants to have something with you. So I don't know if you're not giving them that clarity that you feel the same just yet. And that's what they're looking for. But they do feel like they could be stable to you. And they just feel like you're being slow or there's like time needed. But Pisces, what a reading. Of course, we are 33 minutes in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it clar I hope it resonated with somebody. Um, pretty interesting, pretty deep, pretty intense, pretty different than the normal messages I normally get for you, Pisces. But I have been feeling y'all a little bit frustrated recently. So this may be where your frustration takes peak and you decide to stray elsewhere. So that's what I have here for you, Pisces. Have a wonderful rest of your month. Bye now.